Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make Nin Jump in Game Salad. If you guys don't know what Nin Jump is, basically it's this ninja that's running up walls and enemies are trying to knock him down. If you guys want to see the game itself, uh, go download it, but I have the link in the description down below. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make the basics of him running up the wall and the enemies going down and across on wires and whatnot. Um, but basically, um, if you guys want to learn more on how to do scoring, changing scenes, whatnot, uh, be sure to hit that like button down below. Um, anyway, um, without any further ado, here's the tutorial. Alright guys, so to get, to get started, I just created a new blank project, and I'm going to name this Ninjump. And we will change the platform to iPhone Portrait. Alright, now let's go to our scenes, the initial scene. We're going to add an actor, and this actor will be called the ninja. Ninja. Ah, keep clicking the wrong button. Yeah, ninja. Another actor will be called wall left. Another actor will be wall right. And our last actor will be enemy. Now let's go to our attributes. We're going to add an attribute. This will be a boolean value, which means if it's true or false or yes or no. And we will say touching wall left. Another boolean value. And this will be called touching wall right. OK, now let's go to our actors. Go to our le left wall, our wall left. And we're going to add an image to this. So I have an image ready. It's just a brick wall. I'm just going to import that and drag the image in there. Now let's change the size to a width of 40 and a height of 640. Now let's go back, wall right, and drag another image. And drag the image, same image in, in that wall. Make the width 40 and the height 640. Okay. Now let's go back to our wall left and we add a, want to add a behavior that says move to move to position and it will be game dot I'm sorry wall left dot position dot x and for our y value we want to say wall left dot position dot y minus 50. Okay, now just copy that. We're going to paste that into our right wall. Now let's go back, click and drag our walls in there. So the left wall goes on the left and the right wall goes on the right. Double click on our, double click on our wall and we want to set the position to 20. I'm sorry. Yeah, set our X position to 20. And go to our right wall. And we want to set the position to 300. All right. So it's just a quick preview of what this does. The walls are moving. Oh, I forgot to add something. So let's go into our, there's a game and scene tab up here. So click on the scene tab and we want to wrap the y value so that the walls continuously go down. All right. Now let's go back. Go to our ninja. And now we're going to make them bounce in between each wall. Cancel. We're going to add a rule that says when actor receives event overlaps or collides with actor of type a wall left, we want to change the attribute. So change attribute game dot touching wall left to true. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. And instead of touching wall left, we want to say game game dot touching wall right and set that to false. Now copy and paste that entire rule. And instead of wall left, we want to change that to wall right. And for true, say false, and for false, say true. Okay. 
Now add a rule, another rule that says if actor receives event, touch is outside, then we want to move the actor. So move to our X position will be 255. I actually forgot to add another rule in there so that says if the attribute, so add a rule that says attribute game dot touching wall left is true, then drag our move to function inside of that. And make the y value, press the e game dot, so change the e um, and set the y value to ninja dot position dot y. Click the check mark. All right, now copy and paste that rule. Click the three dots on, at the top here, and, ins, and it should say touching wall right. And we want to move it to the X position 65, and the Y value should say the stay, the stay the same. OK, and we also want to change the size of the actor. So we will make him 50 by 50. Now drag and drop our en our ninja inside of the scene, and we will set the position to 65, and the y value, we can keep it the same, but I'll make it 300. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's just bouncing back and forth, but only if I press and hold down press and hold down the button. So actually to change that, we need to check mark run to completion where it says to move to the position 255 and 65. Okay, now let's preview this. So now when you click it hops back and forth and if you click in, in the middle of anything it just doesn't work. Alright, so there you go. That's how it, he moves back and forth. Alright guys, so to get started on the enemy, we just need to go into our enemy actor I'm sorry. We need to go back and we need to create another actor which will be called spawner and another actor called destroyer. And this destroyer will make it so you don't have a bunch of enemies gathering up all over and over and over on on each other and it crashes the iPhone. So, we have this destroyer just in case of that. So let's just click and drag this destroyer over. And for some reason, this top bar Y that makes the that makes the walls move makes it so you can't put anything under there. So just make it seem like it's the ground. I know it's awkward and stuff, but it, it's just the way that Game Salad did it. Um, I can't really explain it, but I'm just gonna show you the way that I got it to work. So it might not look the best, but it's the basic concept. So. Anyway, um, let's go, I just dragged over a destroyer and reshaped it so it looked a little better. But now let's go into our enemy. Create a rule that says actor receives event, overlaps, or collides with actor of type destroyer. Then we want to destroy the actor. So destroy. Now go back. And Click, double click on our spawner and this spawner will have a timer that says every we will put random between um, we'll say two and five seconds because nin jump doesn't have a specific timing for anything that pops down so this will be a random between two and five seconds now let's go back sorry go go, go into our spawner again so every five, two to five seconds, we want to spawn an actor. So spawn actor, actor of type enemy, in front of actor, and change this to relative to scene. We want to make the position, the X position, sixty-five or so sixty-five comma two fifty-five. 65 comma 255 okay 
and make the Y position 500. And I realize that's on the screen, but I like I said, the Y the the wrap Y value messes everything up. So if there was another way, um, if you guys know another way, leave that in the comments down below. Um, but this is just the way I'm going to show you how it's done, how I did it. So go back and let's click and drag our spawner in there. Okay, now let's preview what this does. So two to five seconds. Okay, so it spawned the actor. I don't have anything making it move yet, so let me just go into my enemy. And we need to add a move to function. So move to, make the x value, game, sorry, enemy.position.x. And make the y value, yeah, keep it at zero. Okay, now let's preview this. All right, so he is popping up at 65 all the time. I'm trying to figure out why he's not popping up at the other side. So double click on our spawner again. And we'll just make it a random value. So random between 65 and 255. All right. Now I realize this will make it pop up anywhere in the screen, really, but it, it might be a cool, like, dodge the meteorite thing, so. Anyway, um, let's go back. And now when the actor hits the enemy, so we want this to do something when it hits the enemy. So double-click on our ninja, add a rule that says actor receives event overlaps or collides with actor of type enemy then we'll just change the scene simple quick easy you can do it any way you want but I'm just gonna show you how to do this so change the scene and let's go home real quick Add another scene and we will call this game over okay go back to that go back to our ninja actor go to and instead of change the scene go to scene game over <laughs> now let's go back I'm just gonna go to our game over scene and we're gonna add I'm just gonna add the destroyer and we'll just make it display some text or make another actor you know it's just a blank thing and we'll just yeah, just keep it hello world. <laughs> and ju I'm just making it look a little better right now. Okay. Now go back to our initial scene. So now the actor is moving and oh no, we hit it. So hello world. So of course you can add more onto this, but it that is the basics of how to do ninja. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys want to learn more on how to make ninja, such as the score and other stuff, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you guys want to know more about me, um, check out my website in, down in the description down below, and also check me out on Twitter. And anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.